Hey there YouTube, how's it going? Thank you for joining me today on this brand new tutorial video for FL Studio 20. Today we're going to be covering a question I got asked in the comments of my last tutorial from one of my esteemed brand new subscribers. That question was how do you stretch MIDI uh, patterns the same way you would stretch audio clips on the playlist? Short answer is I've done some digging, I've done some playing around in FL Studio, and I can't find a way to do it like that. But I do know another way to resize your MIDI clips, so I'll show you how to do that. And if I figure out the way that you've asked, I will do an updated video next time to go back over it and cover it. So today, to begin with, I'll just chuck in an extra little bonus tutorial on how to stretch audio clips. So with audio clips, let's just grab an audio clip. We'll go with um, bass loops. I don't know, this one. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so. See how this bass loop here, it sort of ends there, halfway through a bar. And so if we want to um, if we want to stretch it, what you need is for this stretch button here, while you've got the uh, audio clip to be selected, you need your stretch button to be clicked in. And then you can go like this and you can resize it. You hold Alt to do minute resizing. And there you go. It will slightly change the pitch though, which won't be too good for the actual harmonic value doing it this way because it will be <laughs> it will be altered by a few cents and not an entire an entire note um, but as you can hear it did change pitch but it now fits in there but you know there are ways to do it that won't change pitch but that's just how you um that's the basics of how to stretch an audio clip with a MIDI pattern let's just get a MIDI pattern up going um, We'll go into the piano roll, um, kick drum, we'll do some quarter note kick drums, so one for each beat, beat of the bar, and so it will just sound like this. And you know, say, oh that's the wrong one, put this one in, say that's too short for you, say we've got a pattern and you want to stretch it, you want to make it tw uh, twice as long, or you want to make it four bars. Pretend this is not just four kick drums, that will be a very boring stretch. But, you want to turn this one bar, you want to double it, you just click, you select it, grab the double arrows and you drag it. And if you want to make it four bars long, you just reset. oh I think I got it exactly? I couldn't have. That's pretty accurate. I think I did. I think that's exactly right. But if you don't get it exactly right and you want to minutely adjust it, you hold Alt and you... Oh no, you don't need to hold Alt. Sorry, you just drag. Um, holding Alt is in here if you want to drag it nicely without it snapping. So that's how you would change it. One thing to take note of though is it will resize the pattern, but if you've resized it yourself and then you change it, it won't resize the pattern. So now that I've resized it, it's got this red selection, but if I make it smaller and I go back out, it's still just as big as I've changed it to. But if I change it back again and then resize it, it should change itself. Yeah, see, there we go. So that's that's how you do it. So to rehash, the only way I know how to stretch or shrink a MIDI pattern to fit it into the BPM, or into the tempo, I should say, is to go into the piano roll, select what you want, grab the little double arrow button, and you drag it to the size you want it to be. If you want it to be one bar, half a bar long, for example, so it's some very nice little eighth notes, you would drag it down like that, and then maybe you can copy and paste it over. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So if, you, if you've made a nice big elaborate pattern that you really don't want to have to create again or double its length or anything and go through, you know, re, 
rework it in a way that's longer. You can just select the whole pattern and drag it longer to whatever length you want it to be. And the bonus with MIDI is it won't change the pitch because it's not stretching audio, it's just stretching the MIDI. Um, and, there, you know, with the with the stretching the audio, there is a way to make it stay the right pitch that you want it to be. I just haven't done that. And maybe if someone wants to know that, I can do that for another tutorial another day. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped anyone who might have been stuck on this one.